Turtle, turtle. <laughs> yes, in the studio today, we are going to include a highlight clip of me sculpting some beautiful sea turtles on this beach sculpture. Not just a beach sculpture, you guys. Now, this is a highlight clip from the full length 45 minute video of me sculpting the two volcanoes from the Pixar I Lava You short. Uh, so if you're familiar with the uh, the short from Pixar Disney, I Lava You, the two uh, volcanoes, of course, are erupting at different times and just can never like meet, but they long for a soulmate. Uh, and in the end, they were able to meet uh, above the water level and then uh, live happily ever after. So we've already got the main uh, volcanoes already sculpted. If you'd like to see the full length video of that, I will link that at the very end of this video. But this video is more so just me just sculpting out the beach, a little bit of the waves here, as well as the two uh, sea turtles. So these sea turtles turned out absolutely spectacular and they were really just kind of an afterthought. A lot of the reference photos that you uh, that you can look up on Google uh, images uh, really do have a lot of the sea turtles on there. Some of them do, some of them don't. And I was also uh, thinking about incorporating maybe Moana's uh, maybe green necklace in the, the ocean waves of the beach. Maybe you have to stay tuned for the painting version to see if I include that in the painted version of this item here. So of course the painting version will be separate from the sculpting video uh, and that way you can kind of see those in their own individual playlist here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't had the opportunity to see some of my other projects here on the YouTube channel, make sure you do so. I try to create all sorts of range of products as well as different types of mediums. So if you're uh, interested in seeing sculpting or painting or dioramas, uh, maybe tumblers or epoxy work, I try to have fun and just really diversify my overall uh, art content here on my channel. As you can see here, we went ahead and started with a large glob of clay. I kind of isolated a little bit of the head there, and then we gave the, the shell a little bit of an extension, a piece of clay on the left-hand side. Went ahead and made the forward-facing fins uh, in a rear-facing direction. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of a fin on the, the upper right-hand side where it's coming away from the face. Uh, now, that fin is going to be facing forward, and there's a reason that the other two fins, which are uh, close to us, are facing the back. Because the one in the front will be facing forward towards the other turtle. This is the female turtle here that we are sculpting, so the male will be slightly larger. We will make sure to include a lot of those ripply skin textures that you find in a lot of turtle species uh, with this dental hygiene tool. Uh, it is also a sculpting tool. If you've never used one before, it is really easy to use. Uh, and it's really becoming my, one of my favorite sculpting tools. And then once we get this uh, face kind of locked in here, we'll come back and detail work here in a few moments, just kind of lock in some different uh, striations and some little details on the shell. But what we're gonna do is go, we're gonna go ahead and get the male set up here. Now you'll notice that I will roll out a little bit of a larger piece of clay here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and kind of rough in the shape of the head before we actually even hit it with any tools. Uh, now I did make this piece slightly larger because on the female I had to add a little bit of uh, clay to the shell to extend that to the left hand side. Whereas this one I kind of learned from my mistakes uh, and I incorporated a little bit more clay to extend that to the right to give it really that long type of flat shell look. We're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of texture to the neck area, really kind of carve that away there. Uh, and we'll use the dental uh, sculpting tool there to really kind of uh, sculpt in some of those wrinkles. And we'll use a silicone tip tool to uh, incorporate a little bit more texture here in a few moments. Really just trying to get that isolation between the head and the body and the overall direction of the body. The body's kind of slightly leaning towards the back uh, of the, uh, the beach there. And then the eye will be slightly different than the females, just so that we can kind of create some ver variety on those two items there. Uh, you can tell that the head is substantially larger. I would like to believe that this is Crush the Turtle from uh, Disney Pixar. Uh, and then this is his uh, loving wife. Of course, we don't see the, her in the uh, animated series of Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Um, but it's very interesting to think of that. I am believing that this is a crush. So uh, maybe this is before uh, Squirt the turtle, the little baby turtle is uh, even in existence. Uh, and this is the mama turtle. Making sure to incorporate those two, uh, two fins there. Now those again are the front facing fins and those are facing the rear for which we're gonna go ahead and put the fins. Uh, they are holding themselves in an embrace here. So we're gonna incorporate a little bit of a fin texture over the, each of their heads there, like they're hugging. Isn't that so sweet, you guys? I think it is. Now again, this is just a uh, kind of like a, more so of a full length 
a highlight clip of the full link content video. So if you'd like to see me actually sculpting the entire lava volcanoes, the male and the female, as well as the sky and the smoke plumes, uh, as well as the overall like kind of like wave effect with the the uh, way uh, the whales coming out of the water or anything like that. Uh, or even just the overall shape of the wall plate. This is a light switch, after all, to go in my kid's bathroom. Uh, then you can definitely check out that full-length video. I will link that here now. Uh, here is just locking in some of those details, which you can look forward to in the full-length video. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this portion of this video. What do you think, you guys? I think it turned out absolutely spectacular. Leave it in the comment below. What do you think we should make next as far as a light switch? There are so many options and so many different themes that we could go with. And I think that there is just room to create here in this kind of niche of 3D sculpted light switches. If you haven't done so already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see my latest videos as they come out. Who knows what type of niche they may be in. It may be a canvas work or a sculpture or a tumbler. You never know. I appreciate you guys. I will see you on the next awesome video. Later.